This is the story of how our class discovered how to listen. It began one day when we were playing a game, a listening game. We were going to try to identify different sounds on the record. Would you like to try it with us? Listen. It's a train. Is this what you thought of when you heard the sound? Well, that's what Jerry saw. Let's go on to the next sound. Ready? That's a car. Yes, a car. But why was Jerry always first to catch the sound? Did Jerry think listening was important? Yes, he did. Why, just the other day, Jerry learned how to hold a hammer the right way by listening carefully to what his father told him. And on the way to school, listening is important too. Sounds can tell you that the streets are slippery and you have to be extra careful. By listening, Jerry found all sorts of interesting things he might have missed. He found birds. Hi, Jerry. He noticed friends because he listened. Yes, Jerry thinks listening is very important. But how does he listen? How can all of us listen? We decided to try an experiment to find out how to listen. Betty offered to try first. She was going to do this. She was going to listen to the next sound from the record player and also think about how she listened. And this is the way Betty listened. She heard the sound from the record player. But she listened to other things at the same time. She listened to sounds from inside the classroom. And she listened to sounds from outside the classroom. And it was all a jumble as she listened to all the sounds at the same time. She couldn't identify the sound on the record. Now, how had she listened? I listened to everything, and I just got confused. I tried to soak it all in, like a sponge. Yes, listening like a sponge. But is it a good way to listen? Though you soak up everything, when you try to think about it, it is still confused. That's no good, not for listening because I didn't guess the sound. Maybe if I tried again, tried hard to listen just to the record. It's a typewriter! You see, Betty can select the important sound if she tries. And so can we. Bill was thinking about how he listened. He wanted to try out his listening habits. So we began a new sound. Bill started to listen to the sound, but then Bill listened to first one sound, then another sound. Me too. Why 
wasn't Bill able to identify the sound from the record? Well, I guess I jumped from one sound to another, like a grasshopper. Yes, listening like a grasshopper, jumping from one thing to another. Is that a good way to listen? Because though a grasshopper jumps to many things, does it stay with any one thing long enough? I didn't. Not long enough to guess the sound, anyway. Let me try again. I'll bet I can stick with one sound. That's an airplane. Yes, Bill can keep on listening to the important sound by trying. Can you? And then I noticed Sally. She didn't seem to be playing our game. Would she try? But even before I started the record, I could see that Sally's thoughts were far away again. She didn't seem to hear the record at all. Thinking about other things kept her from listening. Sally didn't guess the sound. She really hadn't even heard the sound. Uh, it, it wasn't long enough. <laughs> I guess I was thinking about something else. I pulled myself in like a turtle, and I didn't listen. Like a turtle. But is that a good way to listen? Doesn't a turtle miss a lot? Well, I think... Uh, you shouldn't listen like a turtle. I think, uh, uh, I can keep myself from thinking about other things if I try. May I hear that record again? It wasn't easy for Sally to keep her mind from wandering. Not at first. But suddenly she saw... Indians! Yes, she did it, by picturing the sound in her mind. Well, that's how we discovered a great deal about listening. Before long, we had worked out some suggestions about how to listen well. First, pick out the important sound. Remember how confused Betty was until she did this? Don't be like a sponge. Second, keep on that sound. Don't let other sounds make you jump around like a grasshopper. And third, try to picture that sound. Think what it means. Remember how that helped Sally? Well, those were the suggestions we worked out. Then we were ready to try them out in listening to a story. Would they help us understand the story better? Will they help you? Why don't you try them with us as we hear the story? It was a happy summer for Charles, because although he was only a boy, he was doing a man's job. Charles lived in a foreign country. You might guess what part of the world he lived in if you heard him saying goodbye to his mother. On his way to where he worked, Charles often enjoyed listening to... He climbed up a steep path where often he heard... And sometimes he heard this sound. Finally, he reached the place where he worked. Can you guess what his work was? There were no other people there, but Charles was never lonely because all around him were his friends who made sounds like these. Can you picture this boy? What work does he do? Who are his friends? What other sound clues did you hear? Now what picture do you see? Is this what you saw? 
Are you discovering how to listen?